Hi, today I'd like to show you how to use wine tricks so that you can fix some game that are not running or not starting or just uh, they have problems. Okay, you can try to fix them by using wine tricks and installing some additional packages or just to tweak the registry. Okay, you can do also that with wine prefix. With wine tricks, sorry. In my opinion, the first most important thing to understand before even using wine tricks is to check which engine the game is using. For example, I have a huge list here, okay, of games such as Alpha Protocol, Batman, all of them, Bioshock, Borderlands, and so on, Devil May Cry, Dirty Bomb, Dishonored, and so on. All this game they uses they use uh, Unreal Engine 3, okay? So, what does it mean? That if you are installing one of these games, okay, you probably end up having the same problems, okay? You, pro you may have no problems at all, or you may have a problem. And so, if you understand that, you can save a lot of time, okay? Because, I mean, just look how many games are there. And if you try to to check a different solution for all the different game, you're just going to end up wasting a lot of time. So what's happening here, for example, with Unreal Engine games, Unreal Engine 3 games, for example, they have problem with .NET, okay? And if you know that, you know that in every game you may have this problem. And I'm going to show you right now. For example, if I launch Xeno Clash 2 okay this is by default I just installed the game and uh, I launched it for the first time you're gonna end up with a crash okay so the the wine error the the software not, it's not running and if you actually check and also another th more important thing is to check the terminal because most of the time all the information are in the terminal for example, here you have a sign that you need to install .NET and you can see here that there is mono, libmono everywhere. This is a sign that it means that you need you have problem with .NET. Okay. Another thing is to open your uh, file manager. I'm using Ranger, which is a terminal command line file manager. And then just go to the game uh, prefix, comma, Steam Apps, comma, Xeno Clash. And then in here, as I said, uh, Unreal Engine 3, they just look all the same, okay? So the, the directory are going to be the same. And you want to go to the common redist on every game, uh, independently for the engine. Because here it's going to tell you what are the external uh, packages that you need. In my case, there is DirectX, which is DirectX 9, .NET, you can see here it's 4.0, OpenAL, Physics, and VC Redis 2010. Okay. At this point, I can launch Wintrix, and you have to select the Wine prefix first, the correct one which is my case dot wine prefix xeno clash and then you have to run wine tricks okay and it will open a, a window you select the default wine prefix and then you select install a windows dll or component this is the first step so to check that all the uh, external packages they've got installed by Steam or by GOG, you know, and you will find them in the game directory. So let's see here DirectX 9, it has been installed. Then we have Physics, let's go and check Physics, VC Run 2010, here it is. Physic didn't get installed in this case, but the most important one to get the game to run 
is .NET 4.0. And as you can see here, there it is. It is not installed, so it's not checked, meaning that there is something with the the package. It wasn't installed, okay. And this is going to happen with every Unreal Engine 3 games that uh, that have uh, .NET. So it's useless that you try to go here and try to understand that, try to understand. I mean, as soon as you install a Unreal Engine 3 game and it is not running and it gives you the libmono mono problem, just go to the game directory and check if there is .NET and this is .NET 4.0 you know that you need to install with winetricks.net 4.0. That's it. To do that, I can simply click here and then click OK. 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 Yeah, at this point I need to close Wine because there is a I need to close Steam, sorry, because there is a problem which is, uh, I think it is a bug or something, it takes long here, so if you close Steam then it's shorter. As you can see here it says extracting file here and there. Let me close actually this one. Then it opens the .NET installer. And then it asks you to install, I have read and accept the license terms, etc, etc, etc. I'm not going to run it because this is not how I normally do. You can cancel here. Okay, so it has not been installed. Yeah, whatever. And what I do here, you can just install from the command line, which is faster. Let me actually go to medium. And you can just add here what you need to install, .NET 40, okay? And this will launch the same uh, installer without uh, you need to click the window to select the default WAN prefix to check for .NET. So this you can do straight from the command line, wantricks.net, boom, and it gets installed. But this way, it will actually still open the installer window and ask you to accept this, accept that, install, click here, click there. To avoid this and to install straight.net without asking you anything, you can just add dash Q. Okay, this is mean quiet mode and this basically by default it accepts everything and it's installed the the package without asking you you don't need to to um, to use your mouse, okay? Go straight to the installation and it complete the installation without asking you for accepting, click here, click there. I'm going to run it. As you can see, no Windows appears, no Microsoft accepting license here, accepting this, there. It just goes straight to the installation without asking you for anything and this is what I normally use so dash Q so the quiet mode takes a few seconds And here you actually, you actually can see what what's Wintrix is executing, okay? Regedit and etc. As you can see here, this is what Wintrix uh, executed. So workaround, wine bug, remove mono, set Windows to Windows XP, dot, and install .NET 40. There it is. At this point, the installation is completed, and I can launch. Xeno Clash and see if I still have the the error. Lib mono and mono error. Or if the game just launches. 
as you saw, there was, al there was also no, no physics installed. So if I have a problem, probably I need also to install physics with one tricks. But it should run. As you can see, the game is running. Okay, here we are. Actually, my the FPS now are super low because I have my controller connected. There is a USB controller. There is a kind of bug, something like that with controller just if you have the controller connected, or at least if you have a Logitech Dual Action connected, the FPS just go down to the 10s, 15. The fuck? Okay, let me... Okay, there it is. So the controller is now... I took it off. Took it out. As you can see, the game is running. Then, as I said, every engine may have different problems. For example, in my case, Unreal Engine 3, if there is a controller connected, it just you have 10, F, 10 uh, FPS. That's it. That's how it is. As soon as you put it out, okay, then it spikes up to 60 or whatever. This is another problem that you're going to face with every Unreal Engine 3 game, at least in my case, with my controller. Anyway, as you saw, the game was running just after a simple wine trick. You can actually, if you don't remember the name, okay, you can actually just run one tricks with the dash Q option, then select the default one prefix, install a Windows DLL, and here, for example, it is it is going to you can select whatever you want, okay, and then press OK, and this is going to to install everything using the quiet mode so there are, there are no windows appearing or if there is something appeared you don't need to click everything will be automatic okay that's basically how Wintrix works so just open it to check if something didn't uh, got installed okay you can use a dash queue to simplify everything so that you don't need to click here and click there and it's fundamental to understand what game are you running. If you're running, for example, Unreal Engine 3 games, there are like 200 games. You're going to end up having the same problems. So it's, I mean, you're just wasting time if you are checking for a, a, for a different solution to different game. They're going to end up having the same problems, more or less, you know. Now, I want to show you another thing here. Is that uh, how do you manage your games in wine prefixes? Okay, the best thing to do, as I said also in the previous video, is to install a game in a separate, in a specific wine prefix. Okay, then you have just one game here, then you can try out wine tricks, it's try out to install this, to install that. If you have problem, I show you how to change, uh, like, um, from 64 bit from 32 bit to 64 bit when prefix you can do the same with uh, with wine tricks so what do you, what i mean if you screwed up a wine prefix you can just uh, rename the wine prefix run the the shortcut and then move the steam library or the gog library to the newly created uh, wine prefix then you have the game there you don't need to reinstall to backup to do all this just watch the previous video and you will understand everything. But there is another thing here. If you have, let's say here I have one prefix game seven and there is just the game number seven installed. So this will, it, if if the game, if I screw up the one prefix, it's, it's easy, you know, I just create a new one and move the game. What up, what happening if you have many game installed in a single one prefix? may happen that, for example, let's say the game 
one, two, five. They are just running fine out of the box without problems. The game six is not running. And then you try some different wine, pre wine, uh, wine tricks. You try maybe to install .NET 3.5, VC Run, whatever version, Codex. At the end, you may be able to to launch and to successfully run game six, but it may be that you uh, screw up, for example, game one. So for example, .NET 3.5, it is fine for game six, but it screws up game one or it screws up game one and game four. So you, you will end up in a, in a situation where you are able to run one game, but you screw up two others. This is not the greatest thing to do. So this is why, okay, by the way, this thing is not so common, but it can happen. So this is why it is important. First, you can try a game in a separate wine prefix. And if everything it's okay, if it's running fine, you can then move the game in a, in your, uh, in a, in a bigger wine prefix where you have all your games. Another uh, smart thing to do is just manage WAM prefix based on the game uh, engine. For example, you can have WAM prefix Unreal Engine, okay, and all the Unreal Engine games you can just put them in there. But mind that you probably you have some problem with .NET 3.5, so it's really not the best thing. What you can do, for example, all the Unreal Engine game that uses .NET 4.0, you can just put them in a in a big wine prefix and you won't have problems and some other maybe just manage them uh, uh, in a single uh, wine prefix okay that's it so if you are a beginner just remember that managing a single wine prefix it will be easier you can uh, delete it without problems you can do all the the experiments that you that you like to do with wine tricks without caring about breaking other games okay that's the best thing if you're a beginner and that's how, how I do normally just every game that I install for me it's a new wine prefix by default okay that's it there is actually I'm going to show you some other things here Actually, let me change this to the wine tricks, wine prefix. You can actually install like uh, some applications by using wine tricks. There are a bunch of stuff here. You also want to check the media here on how it gets installed. Okay, some of them, like Office 2003, you, you may need the CD, so it will input you to to actually put the CD to complete the installation. Some other are the manual download or the everything is by, like for example, Steam, you can just use one tricks to install Steam. Okay, as you can see, just just go install an application then you select steam and you will get you will have steam installed you can install a benchmark you can install a game as i said some of them you need the retail dvd some other are directly from steam and then you have also if you go you select the default wine prefix you have also some, you can install some fonts, you can change the settings, you can run the regedit, we can, you can just run, you can just type regedit instead of uh, wine tricks. And many, many other things. I don't really use all this stuff. What I normally install is this one, Direct3DX9, okay. You can just maybe install one of these, but I'm lazy, so I install all of them. Then I have problems with normally, as you can, as you just saw, I just, as you just saw with uh, Unreal Engine 3, .NET 4.0. When I'm lucky, because .NET 4.0 gets installed super easily in a, less than a minute, and .NET 3.5, which is the most problematic one. This is the most problematic one tricks to install. .NET 3.5 and this one also. 
then sometimes I need physics and some other times I need like VC run from 2005 to 2012 that's it that all the wine tricks that I normally use if I have problems if the steam actually installer has problems also the GOG installer end up with having some problems I can say that almost all the other if you're running games you can just skip all the others maybe you have the venom if you have like a video they are not starting something like that also yeah the venom or there was another one don't remember crypt no it's not crypt oh, i don't remember you have some codecs here but as i said the most uh, common are vc run which should be installed by default but by the steam installer without problems directx9 and dotnet dotnet is the most problematic if you're lucky you have dotnet 4.0 if you are unlucky you have dotnet 3.5 that's it okay that was it and uh, you know actually <laughs> There is also the wine app database that you can check. Here are listed some some guides on how to do if you have to run this wine tricks, if you have to, to run the other wine tricks. For example, here I have Sid Meier Ace Patrol. I did, I wrote this uh, guide and back in wine 1.9.14, so not so old, you had to force actually VC run 2010, uh, VC run 2012, yeah. What does it mean? It means that Steam, it installed VC run 2012, but somehow it screws up, I don't know. Probably it's the package, which is together with the with the game. So you can force it. Force it, basically you uh, you overwrite that VC run and install the, the one tricks one. Now in this case you don't need this anymore. I just tried out the game because I want to show you also the force command, force option, but you don't need anymore. So remember that if you are looking to maybe some old test, I mean one point wine one point nine is not so old, so you may end up one wine one point seven, one point five. Some tests they're maybe outdated. In this case you the game it's now a platinum you stole it and it just run okay so if you have problem try out some wine tricks that are shown here but you may not need them anymore okay there may there may may be updated that's it hope it was helpful and i'll see you in the next video maybe I don't know if I'm going to continue this tutorial series. I, did, I guess this is enough. I cover almost everything. Anyway, if you have, if you want to know something else on how I manage this, how I manage that, how to do this, how to do that, just leave a comment and I will do a video as soon as uh, as possible. Okay, hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next time. Bye bye.